Today is a big day for School District 2. Of course, thousands of kids coming back into the classroom. Well, this morning we do have a special guest. School District 2 Superintendent Greg Upham is joining us now via Zoom. Well, good morning to you, Greg. Good morning to you. All right, well, let's jump right into it. There's been a lot of conversation over the weekend. You sent out that memo yesterday warning teachers, you know, that there would be some harsh consequences if they don't wear masks. Um, talk to me a little bit about your expectations with compliance. Well, you know, that's one of the questions that's so difficult when you ask for compliance is, or when you have a mandate or a requirement is compliance. And, you know, hopefully everyone understands the rationale. It's not, you know, do this because I said so. Um, you know, we've been watching the virus. We know how to stay in school. And with the outbreak at Skyview uh, that quickly went through a portion of the team, I, we just decided, we looked at it and said, you know, do we want, um, a whole team walking into a school of 1800 that could be exposed to COVID. And so, you know, this is a safety issue. This is a, a health safety issue and, and we, we want to stay in school and we know how to do it. And this is one of our tools. Yeah, you know, you and I have talked about that a lot through the summer. You know, you want to get kids back into the classroom. So it's not an easy decision, I'm sure, that has to be made. But um, talk to us a little bit about how you talked with our health officials and how you consulted with them. What sort of things did they say to you that made you feel like, hey, we got to do this? Well, this conversation started last year when we met with the health officials about how to open school um, when everybody else was staying out of school and putting the hybrids in. So it's it's an ongoing conversation. And and this year, actually, in my conversations with Dr. Ku and and uh, John Felton and, and uh, medical uh, physicians, they just said this is faster, faster growing, uh, quicker moving and uh, and we just have to be prepared. So. They're ongoing conversations. It's not like they're dropped and uh, we've watched it the whole time. You know, when the virus was down, we, we lifted the mask um, requirements and went through summer school with it, which was very comfortable for everybody. But now our, the number of cases in the community is rising significantly. The hospitals were on divert. I don't know if they're still on divert and um, we, we're going into school. So I wanna make sure we try and stay in school to the best of our ability. Yeah, I think the Delta variant has taken a lot of us by surprise, uh, you know, after we've kind of been through most of this pandemic. But, um, you know, you talked a lot about the consequences for teachers. Are there consequences if students refuse to wear masks? Well, you know, we just, we're, we're gonna work with them obviously, and that uh, we don't want them coming in the building without a mask on. And, you know, we're, we're, we're working with them and, and hopefully it won't lead to, uh, you know, um, absence issues and those types of situations. But um, we just want to work with our people and, and get through this spike of this virus and so that we can get back to normal as quickly as possible. Okay, I just want to give you one opportunity to just soak in the first day of school. What are your thoughts? What are your, um, what's your message to parents and students out there on this first day of school of 2021? Take care of our kids. That simple, take care of our students. All right, Greg Upham, thanks so much for joining us this morning on Montana This Morning. We'll let you go and, and get you to school um, ready to go. And uh, thanks again for joining us. We appreciate it. You bet. Take care. All right. Thanks.